In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom application icon and splash screen using Ionic Cordova for Android and iOS. So you can see the little icon that we have here of a dog. And if we click the app, we have this splash screen of a cat briefly showing. So let's see how we can do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new Ionic project. The Ionic start command does that. And we're going to select our framework. I'm going to go with Angular, though this works with React and Vue as well. And we're going to select a project name. So this application, the icons are going to have a pets theme. So I'm going to call this uh, pets. Cordova icons. Okay, and we are going to be asked to pick a starter template. I'm just going to go with blank, but you can pick any starter template you want. It doesn't really matter. You can use this method with an existing project as well. I'm going to say no to integrating capacitor because we're going to be using Cordova for this project. And I'm going to say no to creating an Ionic account. And that's it. Our Cordova project has been created. So I'm going to clear the screen with CLS. And the next step is we want to add Ionic Cordova to our project. We want to add a Cordova platform. So we're going to do that with the command Ionic Cordova add then the name of our platform. So this demonstration is being done in Android. So I'm going to put Android here. But if you are going to be building for iOS, you will substitute iOS for Android here. Okay, sorry, that's a mistake. I'm supposed to say Ionic Cordova platform ad platform add Android or platform add iOS. And again, another rookie mistake. Um, I'm supposed to be in the project for, sorry, in the folder or directory for my project. So first I'm supposed to CD into the application, which we called pets, go over icons. Okay, now that I am there, let me clear the screen. And I can, uh, let's check if add Android works. Okay, that doesn't, I'm supposed to say platform add Android. And it asks if we want to continue. Yes, we do. And there we go. It's now downloading the Cordova integrations. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to build our APK. So we're going to do that with Ionic Cordova build Android. Again, for iOS, you can substitute uh, iOS for the platform name. And what this is going to do is it's going to compile our APK. Okay, so our APK has been successfully built and it's in the following path. There you go, appdebug.apk. So the next thing is we want to run this APK in the Android emulator. We're gonna do that with the command Ionic Cordova run Android. Again, for iOS, you will swap out Android and put in iOS. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's running the Android emulator, as you can see, and it's going to install into the emulator the APK that we just built. If your system is not doing this and you want to find out how to integrate the Android emulator and Ionic and have everything work together, 
you can click in the link showing in the top right corner and you can watch the video on how to set up your Ionic development environment. Okay, so here we are and we have our application here and you can see that it has the default app icon. The application is called by default, it's called my app. And when we tap on my app, we can see the splash screen. It shows very briefly. Let me try to bring it up again. It shows up very briefly. But you can see there the default uh, splash screen. So that's what we want to change. We want to put in a custom icon and a custom splash screen over there. Okay, so let's head back to our console and actually I think we want to go to Explorer. So I'm actually going to power off the emulator and that's going to shut down. And it's closed. So let's clear this and move on. So here we are, we are in our project folder. And as you can see in the uh, project folder, we have this folder right here called resources. So we're going to navigate into resources. And you'll see we have this icon.png and splash.png, as well as a folder for Android and a folder for iOS. If you go in there, you'll notice there's an icon and a splash and some XML and an icon and a splash for iOS. But let's focus on these two files first. So if we open them, you'll see that this is the icon. This is actually the default icon that we saw in the emulator. And here is the splash screen that shows up. So what we have to do is we have to replace these images with our own custom images. So I have some images that I copied from another location. So I'm going to paste these in and dog.png is actually our icon. So let me delete that and I'm going to rename dog.png to icon.png. And I'm going to get rid of splash and I'm going to rename cat to splash. All right, so we've replaced these with our custom images. We have this dog, that's going to be our app icon. And we have this uh, picture of this cat that's going to be in our splash screen. So that's it. That's all we need to do. If we wanted to have different uh, icons and splash screens for different platforms, we would go into the specific folders and change the files uh, for Android here, yeah, the Android icon files and the splash screen files. So we could um, paste in uh, different images for that. But um, if we put these in the top level directory, not inside the platform directories, that means that uh, our icon and splash screen is going to be the same regardless of the platform that we're working on, which is what I'm going to show in this demonstration. Now, another thing that we need to note is that our icon, if I can open the file and go to file info, our icon has to have the dimensions 1024 by 1024 pixels. That's the recommended size for the icon. And for the splash screen, the image has to be 2732 pixels by 2732. And the so that's supposed to be the size of the entire image uh, of the entire picture file that makes up the splash screen. But the main artwork, the part that you see here where there's the cat, you will notice that the cat doesn't cover the entire picture. And that part has to be roughly 1,200 by 1,200 pixels. So those are the recommended figures from Ionic. And what um, 
Cordova is going to do is it's going to use these two files in order to generate different size icons, different size splash screens for all the different iOS and Android devices that are on the market. Okay, so that's great. Let's head back to the terminal and continue our work. Okay, so we're back in the terminal and all we have to do now is to run the command ionic Cordova resources and you can add in here iOS or Android if you want to build resources for that specific platform but if you want to build for both platforms we're just going to put in this ionic Cordova resources and we'll press enter and we're going to get an error that is related to um, the warning that we got earlier that we need to have Cordova Res installed. All right, so Cordova Res is the script that actually does the generation of the um, resources. So all we have to do is to follow uh, the instruction there. We're going to type in npm install dash g for globally. And we're going to install Cordova Res. Pressing enter, that's going to install that dependency. So let's wait a second. Okay, Cordova Res has been installed successfully. So I'm gonna clear the screen with CLS. And now I'm gonna repeat that command from earlier, Ionic Cordova Resources. So that's gonna run Cordova Res. It's gonna grab those images and generate the appropriate files. You can see here it says it generated 18 resources for Android and it also generated 47 resources for iOS and it makes the appropriate changes to the config.xml file. So this is all we have to do and now we will once again run, um, let's do ionic build to rebuild Ionic Cordova build Android. And this is just going to recompile our APK because the resources are bundled within the APK. So we have to rebuild that for those changes to take effect. And the APK has been successfully built to this path. And next, let's clear the screen. And now we're gonna run it in the emulator. So Ionic Cordova run Android. So again, that takes the APK that we built in the previous step and installs it in our emulator. And here we go. Okay, our emulator has started up and you can see here my app now has the little dog as the icon. If I click to open it, we can see we have the cat as our splash screen. The splash screen shows for just a brief moment, but again, you can see it has the dog icon. Um, let's see what it looks like if we take it to the home menu. And you can see there our little dog. I click on it and we have the cat. So that's it. That's how you create a custom app icon and splash screen on both iOS and Android using Ionic Cordova. If you liked this video, please make sure to click like, share with a friend, hit the red subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you can get notified of new videos. Also leave a comment, let me know what you thought of this video. 
let me know if there's anything that you want me to cover in future videos and also please support this channel i have a patreon so if you'd like to make a donation to help me to continue making this content be sure to click the link for the patreon you can give as much as you can as little as a dollar a month and that will go a long way in supporting the channel you can also support the channel by buying items from my online store at codeswag.co.uk and codeswag.net. Thank you very much and see you next time.